Hey, welcome everyone. It is John the Neck Guy. Very excited to have you all here. Working through a couple little kinks. That's why we got a little bit of a late start here. I'm going to try to keep the reflections down even. There we go. <laughs> it is Tech on Tuesday number 19. Uh, got a cool set of products for you guys today to check out. I'm going to go through just a list of them. I am trying to get... Oh, this this is great. Let's Let's see here if I can put this up here. This is Amazon Live for you. For those who can't read, it says, we are having technical difficulties. No doubt that is what's happening today. So we'll say retry on that one. We're going to do a couple quick things here. Get connected. And we'll get back on our regular Wi-Fi. See if we can get Amazon going. Perfect. Preview. Ah, we're in. Okay, excellent. Thank you guys for waiting and your patience here. Got a stacked show for you guys today. Lots of really cool stuff. Um, it's another one of those shows that has actually been mainly sponsor driven, which I really like. I've got some neat things if you're shipping products around. Some things that we use every single day in shipping around here now. Um, one that you're going to get a preview of a video that's going to go out tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Um, audio is very echoey. Oh, <laughs> That probably sounds a whole lot better, doesn't it? <laughs> I had the mic pack plugged in, but it came out of a camera mic. There we go. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rare. Uh, and that's why we do the audio checks in the beginning uh, to get it all working. And we will invite the Amazon people in here. But just a quick heads up for you guys. There's a giveaway going on today. It's down there in the corner. The netguy.com forward slash bike. Somebody test that out for me. Let me know if you're able to sign up for the giveaway. We're going to do that live today. And what are we going to be drawing for? This. This is from the Lamacall company. This is a bike mount for your cell phone. And this one gets really big. Let me show you this. So it opens up and expands like that. Look at that. That thing is huge. This is like 13 Pro Max with your case territory I'm very excited about this among other things today so that's one of the many products that i'm going to be showing off today there's lots of really cool stuff this product i have a brand new one in box over here that i'm going to be giving away so that's going to get shipped out to you after the show uh, no cost to enter rules and official information are all down there at that url the only thing that i do there is show you about this product so <laughs> wanted to, to give that to you guys as a heads up that's going to be in the product here they are the show sponsor today so that's lamical they're the number one for that uh if you search for like iphone bike mount they're the number one product there so i'm super excited to be on their page i'm gonna hit the go button and we're gonna get going on amazon here in three two one <laughs> hey welcome amazon shopper it is john the net guy it is 5 30 40 p.m on tuesday which means it's time for tech on tuesday so that said what is this show well i do pc builds tech tips gear reviews all sorts of stuff and i do a little bit of product reviewing here today as i mentioned just a second ago the first product that we're going to be giving away today is from lamacall it is a uh, cell phone mount for your motorcycle, bike, boat, anything that has a pipe or a tube that you want to mount to. And it's got an enormous opening here and you can adjust that. It comes with all sorts of cool stuff. So excited about that. But first off, I'm going to hit down here in the chat and we're going to get started with the product that you're going to see a video coming out tomorrow. And it's something I was super excited to review for you guys. See if I can bring it all up here. I had all this stuff kind of connected because I figured that was safer. And then I just realized I have a jumble of cords down by my feet that are all going to trip me up today. So <laughs> this is from the Gitfos company. And before the Amazon sensors shut me off, the labels I'm printing do not have personal information and addresses. The video I put up on Amazon got rejected because they thought that it, <laughs> it wasn't working or that I had a, a personal address in there. And it was like, unless your name is vacationer at resort, dot something whatever yeah it was a, a sample but they blocked it anyway so this label printer prints four by six labels so if you're looking for a shipping label i'm going to use this printer to print the label for our winner um, you can print this out directly from your computer or one of the things that i found was even cooler about this is it actually prints from your smartphone 
So if you're like me, I use a couple services. Um, you know, I use Pirate Ship for most of my shipping. Um, there's another call site called Shippo, Ship S H I P P O, that I use uh, for shipping services, and both of them are supported by this device, which is really cool. Hey Jennifer in the chat, thank you for joining. And oh, Jimmy Messer, thank you for the follow on Amazon. That is so cool. That's gonna let you know each and every day when I go live. My thumb did not want to work, so I'm having to put a passcode in here, and I don't want anybody to see that. <laughs> here we go. Uh, but the cool thing about this, like I said, it can print both labels directly from a PC, or they've got a really cool app for your phone where you can actually make any sort of label too. So you can print PDFs from your phone, or you can actually make your own label. So if you're doing like inventory control and you want to do tags and things like that, you can do that. And Kmart Kelly M. <laughs> <laughs> is Kmart still a thing? Are they still around? I don't even know. So Kmart Kelly M on the Amazon. Thank you guys for uh, jumping in here. I'm on the Gitfos page right now, actually. And so if you wanted to ever wonder how you can see where I'm at on Amazon at this point, um, if you visit my Amazon shop here, and sorry, my little window up here is going to be weird. I had to reset all the equipment before we started. But if you come down here, this is my Amazon shop. So it's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash the net guy. And if you come down here, you'll see all of the products. When I'm live, you'll see us now. It's kind of picture in a picture. But if you come down here to my idea list, if you want to strip it down, you can just go down to idea lists and it's going to show you every single show we've had and all the products on each show. So if I go down here to cool tech gadgets, for example, there you go. That's the stuff that we're going to be looking at today. And then this is the Gitfos label printer. Hopefully my video shows up on their site pretty soon. Uh, but that has some information about the product here. It is 83 bucks right now. There is no extra special uh, promo on this one. But compared to a lot of the products in this price range, uh, this has got a lot more features. The Bluetooth capability is really cool. Like I said, that comes right out of your smartphone. I'm going to show you how I print a label. And you guys can see that. We'll work with that interactively here. So I'm just going to go open up a label file here and get it full screen. And we'll get back over here. So I've got my label up here on my printer, on my uh, computer. I wonder if I can do this. I've got the picture in a picture. You can see the printer going here. And I'm just going to hit print. Now it automatically picked the printer that's the right size. And then I can do the information about the size is in millimeters. So it's 100 by 150. That's 4 by 6. You can also do things like adjust the brightness, uh, contrast, all that kind of stuff. And watch how fast this thing prints. I'm going to hit print and then I'm going to switch out to, let's say, the top down view so you guys can see this. So here we go. So it just comes right out of there. <laughs> and I switch to the side view. But okay, you guys get it. So top down view, that's what it looks like. So literally just prints out and you peel it off. And then this thing, these labels are down to four cents a piece. So it comes with a stack of labels for you to try out, but I'd recommend buying more. So this one is to Company and John Doe, by the way. So yeah, don't freak out, Amazon. Don't shut me down. Uh, this is not private. But then you can just take this item and you can literally stick it right on the box. Now, I don't have any water in here, but the cool thing about it is that it literally does not smudge. So I'm going to go back over to the side camera. So I wiped on that a little bit with some saliva if that was an ink printer one it would be much slower i'd have to go up cut it all out i'd have to tape it to the box unlike this thing which is already pre-adhesived and this is a thermal label now thermal labels obviously if you get them really hot they're gonna discolor but this is what almost everybody uses now so i can do that one more time here just since we're on the front camera and i'm gonna do the top down because it's so cool to watch this thing how fast it prints so uh, you're gonna see me hit enter over here And, you know, what's funny is you can do more than one of these. I think I had the set, spacing set wrong on this, so it printed out a little bit extra. But again, yeah, the, this is all right from a PDF file. So most of those shipping services are going to give you your label as a PDF, and there's no waste here. So you can set this thing up in the corner. The other cool thing, and I wanted to show you about this one specifically, is it is adjustable. So if you've got smaller labels, you can actually take this out. You can go over here and you can adjust these down to be like address labels. If you've got pre-stamped address labels, it's got a little indicator light up there. Green is going to say that it's connected via USB. Blue is Bluetooth, obviously. And red means that you're out of paper or that the lid's open. So that's where we're at now. 
So that's from Gitfos Company. Uh, really want to thank them. You're going to see a video tomorrow, so I kind of won't spoil all of that. But I did put a, a full shoppable video, we call it, together on this. It shows you everything about it. Uh, would be really cool if you're starting to get into eBay. My wife's been doing a bunch of uh, Facebook market, and she's starting to ship things now, so it's kind of cool. She usually comes to me and says, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you ship this? Can you ship that? But I'm going to pull up another uh, product here on Amazon that would go really well with this because I just happen to have it behind me. And yes, Kmart Kelly, that was fast as well. So um, this is the extra labels that you're going to want on this. So this is from the Rolo company. This is, again, I try to pick only the products that are the best out there. Uh, I don't want to give you stuff that I wouldn't buy myself. And so this is 500 labels. Now, uh, what's cool about it, I'll do a quick unboxing for you here. comes with some information about how to set up your label printer form, but essentially it's all about just setting the size and contrast. These are four by six labels, and what I really like about it, and it's really hard to see, I know, on that, is it actually says this side should face down in real light writing on it so that you know to feed the printer this way. And these are called... Uh, the continuous feed labels here are, I think, flip fold. I have to go look and see what they're called on these ones. Um, but yeah, they flip over and they feed themselves. And you can literally leave this in the box. So you can have this set up kind of as your shipping station, right? So I'm going to road those through to the label printer. Get my spacing right. Because that's just about the max width for this thing. And there we go. So now that's ready to go. You could literally leave that. And as the printer prints more paper, it'll just keep feeding right out of the box. Doesn't make a mess. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to see if there are any questions in the chat coming through. <laughs> Cajoling Technologies. What a name. I love that. I have not heard of your site before, but I want to check that out. Cajoling Technologies. What's up, that guy? And he says, cool microphone. Yeah, I, uh, I went through a lot of microphones to get this one. Uh, it works really well. Just a quick reminder, if you are joining right now, we are giving away this bike mount holder, which I'm going to talk about later in the show. I probably should have shown it and then teased you guys and whatever, but I'm going I'm to show this product here in just a couple more products. So I wanted to show you this here first, um, tell you about it so that you know what you're actually signing up for if you use that giveaway down below. And uh, thanks again from Lamacall for the product here that I can give away to you guys. So uh, we're going to go from that on to the next product. So again, this was from Rolo. And these are their direct thermal labels. Now, being a thermal label printer, one thing that's cool about this that I gotta, I just have to point this out, <laughs> there's no more ink. You are literally not going to be buying ink. Now, if you guys do decide to buy that uh, Lamacol bike mount, I've got a really cool promo code for you. So don't don't buy it just yet. If you <laughs> wait till we get into that section, because I got a promo code that's going to take forty percent off of the price on it. I want to thank those guys for that as well. So you can see here, I purchased this just a couple days ago because I, or actually a week ago ish, because I needed extra labels from what it came with. But uh, very good rating, four point eight out of five. And again, no toner was harmed in the making of this. <laughs> uh, you know, you can actually use these again over and over as far as the, the printer without having to load any toner. So you just have to put this continuous flip fold or fan fold as they call it. Sorry, I got that right now. Uh, fan fold paper in and it will print out every single time because the paper is thermally reactive. That's the cool thing about it. So that's if you're going to be shipping stuff. Um, probably some other cool ways you could use this in IT. So if you're in IT and you're doing labels, you could actually print an entire you know stretch of labels, cut them up any way you want. You could use them for cable labels and other cool stuff too. So I've used uh, different label makers. I've got a, an old brother one. Problem is it's just not big enough. It can do mailing labels, but it can't do shipping labels. So I'm super excited about this. This is going to be something I'm going to get a lot of use out of myself. Just looking, there was one more item that I actually put in, and I'm just going to show it to you online um, because this is a must have if you're shipping. So, and it's kind of silly, but I said I got to throw this into the cart because we use ours so much. This here is literally, you can see I bought this thing almost three years ago, and I have it upstairs. Actually, I didn't drag it down here uh, because we use it so much both in the kitchen and it's $8.50, $8.49 for the 
Amazon auditors. <laughs> and this is from Comiba. There's many different manufacturers that make almost an exact same shipping scale or, you know, kitchen scale. And I use this thing up to 11 pounds. So that's the max it looks like uh, on it. And that's most of the time what I'm doing. So, hey, uh, Timmy Clark is asking about the giveaway link. It should be in the lower corner down there. It says the netguy.com forward slash bike for the bike mount, if you're interested. Um, and so, yeah, this was actually something I threw in there because it works so well. Nine bucks for a scale, cajoling says. That is awesome. And I'm very happy with the one that we have. You can see we've been using it for years. We used it so much. I'll show you that, and you can kind of see. You can use it for both food. It will do grams if you're in the European metric units. Uh, it'll do all that stuff. And it'll actually do pounds and ounces for shipping, which is really important. So you can do just pure ounces. You can do all those, um, you know, fractionals. But I do love that it does pounds and ounces for all the shipping needs. We've used it so much that we literally have worn the pads off the bottom of it. Because <laughs> it makes its, its way down here when I'm shipping stuff. It makes its way upstairs when we're cooking stuff. Uh, so really cool product. I threw that on the carousel just because I wanted to kind of show you guys about it. But, uh, you know, I, I didn't bring it down today, so that's just what you get. So, um, that said, give me one second to clear off the pallet here. And we're going to go away from shipping and go into the bike mount. Because I want to show you some cool stuff about this. I've got some other cool bike things today that you'll notice. that You know, just some safety items, things that I think would be good additions if you're going to do this and then i got some nerd stuff coming up too so don't don't despair there is nerd stuff coming <laughs> hey jay essing thank you for the follow that's awesome i really do appreciate that that helps me out uh if you guys are watching on amazon if you're not if you're watching on any of the other services my amazon shop link is there if you go to that you can hit follow and you can follow me anytime i go live unlike youtube Amazon actually tells you when I go live, if you follow me, which is pretty cool. So I like that. We are up. It is time for the Lamical mount here. So this is from the Lamical company. I'm going to pull it up on Amazon because I think the pictures that they have do it more justice. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, I went out to go to our bikes to literally like, you know, take them out of COVID storage. They've been packed up and sure enough, they're like rusted, the chains are rusted, nothing's working right. You know, I'm like, oh, great. If you're like me and you're looking at getting back into shape, biking is one of the best ways to do that. We're coming into the summer months here in Seattle, which is the only time we don't have rain 24 seven. And I was like, you know what? I don't have a really good phone mount. I want to try this thing out. So that said, um, this came in and I said, you know what? Don't send me just one, send me two of them because I want to give one of them away because this, you know, the ratings on it were excellent. Uh, let me pull that up here. I want to show you guys this. So it's got a 4.6 out of five. Let me pull this up here. So you can see the rating there on the side, uh, 4.6 out of five stars. It has ability from a 4.7 to a 6.8 cell phone. So that's a really big phone. Let me grab... This is the show phone. This is what we're using today. <laughs> and I'm going to go over to the top camera just so you can see how it works. Now, one of the things that's really cool about it is actually this locking retention. So a lot of us maybe ride motorcycles. I know I do. So this locking retention right here, that's in unlocked mode. It lets it move. If you go to lock, it locks it from opening, which is really important for me. And it's big enough that you can use this wearing gloves. So you can reach around and undo that if you need to, uh, which is really important if you're motorcycling. I always recommend having a phone handy if you need to, you know, get directions or do things like that. And a handlebar mount makes it even cooler. So let me show you how this goes in. So you literally just take and spread it out and it has those metal edges. Do you see up at the top, the little serrations in it? It's geared so they all come out at the same speed. So we open it up, drop the cell phone in. Now what's interesting is my phone, you can see it fits pretty flat. I have a cool thing. Hey, uh, cajoling, you just wait. <laughs> I got a demo for you. You're going to love. <laughs> he came up with a really good use case and I, I was with you there on that one. Um, so yeah, that's how it mounts is to the handlebar. But what's neat about it is it actually has this adjusting ring. So if I loosen this adjusting ring, you can see how it moves around. So if you don't like your phone to be this way, you can do it horizontally too. So if you're looking for widescreen movies, well, maybe you're motorcycling down the road and you want to, no, I'm kidding. 
don't do that. <laughs> no, but if you really want to have a flexibility in the mounting options, that's really cool. The other thing is, and I want to just show you all of the different size mounts that you can use this with. Uh, we picked up a bicycle for my girls. I felt bad that all of their bikes had rusted. And so I actually did pick up one of those for them. And when I did, I was like, oh, this, this handlebar is fat. This is, this is not going to fit. This is too big. And actually it turned out it needed one of those spacers in there, but they actually include another three spacers. And if I can get all of those in here, you can see, I don't even know because the way it's done, I won't be able to fit all those in, but you can see this thing goes way down to almost nothing. So you can use it. I'll look in the, see if we have the uh, distances of the bars that it can connect to. Uh, 0.59 to 1.57 inches. 15 to 40 millimeter thickness bars with these included spacers. I had to take three out to use them with our handlebars. And that was because the handlebars are thick on this. And I'll show you that real quick here. So I actually have a short video <laughs> after work today. I uh, decided to throw this together because I could not drag a bicycle in here for you guys. I probably could have, but it would have been embarrassing. So <laughs> let me show you guys this real quick. This is a quick how to on how to install it. This is that new bike that I got the girls. And you can see here, <laughs> somebody says, does it have openings for cameras? So literally you can decide where you want to put it. I'm going to put it at the lower part, but if I was going to put it at the upper part of the bar, I can literally slide it up there and just add a few more spacers. I wanted to give them more uh, room on their bike between the uh, <laughs> controls there. So they don't try to hit it while they're hitting their other buttons. Does it have openings for cameras? Unfortunately, Jeremy, that's one thing. It's a solid back, which provides better protection for your phone. Maybe for your other two cameras, which I'll, I'll show you here in a second. It might work just depending on it, but I can't guarantee that. Um, so here you go. Hardest part in putting it in, it takes less than a minute really to put on, is just sizing it for the bar. So you take the screw all the way out loop it around. You don't have to unhook anything else, which is kind of cool on this. So that the screw comes all the way out, figure out what size you need on the mounting. In this case, I figured it out. And then I reattach that and just tighten it down enough. You don't have to snug it all the way down. If you do, you could possibly break that plastic. So just snug it down just enough. Just going to double check, make sure we've got it up here. Yep. And check in the Amazon chat. If you guys have any questions busy, I'm having a great evening. We're just taking a look at the Lama call bike mount for your smartphone. I could also see using this on my boat because uh, boats have handrails and rails everywhere. And I was super excited about that. So now I'm just playing with the lock mechanism, seeing if I can access it easily. And that keeps the phone from falling out, which is really cool. And then if you loosen the ring, you can adjust that. And you can move it up and down, in and out. You can see there. And my daughter loved this. She was going to go on a ride yesterday. I got to pause it for a second. She was literally going to go on a ride yesterday to test out this new bike. And she goes, oh, I can't take my phone. And one of our rules is you always have to take your phone. She had, you know, yoga pants on or something. She's, But her sweater had those pockets that are really open and it would have fallen out. And I said, Hey, I've got a product for you to try out. So she actually tested this out, ran around our loop and you can put your music on, you can do whatever. So it's really cool um, that you have accessibility of that. Let me show you real quick, just the last little bit of this. So could you also hook this to a camera tripod or light stand? Yes, you could. Actually, that's a great idea. I was playing with the backside of my tripod earlier that to see if I was going to demo it on there. I kind of skipped that idea, but there you go. And uh, this is me using it while riding. Now, mind you, this was not easy. I'm filming with one GoPro. <laughs> I've got my phone in the mount, but it's kind of cool because I got my Waze app up. I don't know if you guys use Waze like I do, but um, I can literally get directions to where I want to go. And I'm doing it one handed for you here just to demo the product a little bit. But yeah, it's kind of cool to have your phone mounted up where you can easily see it. Here is me just riding around and I'm, I'm using all the safety devices that, that one would need, as you can see. I didn't ride their bike too much because I'm probably over the weight limit for it. But uh, Cajoling had the question earlier. He said, what about stroller? This is a Bob Revolution stroller. So if you've got somebody with one of those, and this is my wife's phone. Now her phone did have a larger piece on the back, which was a little bit harder to fit in here, but it actually did fit with uh, almost like a pop socket on the back. So that was really kind of cool on that one. Uh, let me go back over here and see if I missed any of the pictures that they have. Cause like I said, they usually have better pictures than I do. So there's a road racing bike 
that they've got. And like I said, this is actually, I don't know if it's going to show it here, but this is one of the number one products here when it comes to uh, bike handlebar mounts. And there is what I was really kind of excited about. Uh, shockproof mounting for your dirt bike, uh, for dirt bikers out there. So if you're getting back into exercise, you want to keep that phone handy. Uh, it's a pretty cool mount and we are giving one of these away. So if you visit, I'm going to just bring the site up here so you guys can know that's the right one. So if you visit that URL that you have in the lower left corner, the netguy.com forward slash bike, give it a couple seconds. It'll bring up the sign up form and you can put in what name you want on the prize wheel. I don't want to put one. I have to be real careful. I can't put anything bad on the prize wheel, but I don't want to put your actual name if you don't want it for privacy. So go ahead and put whatever name you want me to show on the prize wheel while it's spinning. We're going to do that prize wheel towards the end of the show. I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you here, just so you can see what it comes with. Let me bring that top down camera in for this one. So really well packaged here. User manual. I'm guessing you don't need that uh, pretty small. So the middle part here is actually the back side of the mount. So it comes in this little tiny box. Now this is the exact one. I'm So watch me here. I'm going to put it back together exactly the opposite. <laughs> I just want to be able to put it back together for you because this is the one that you're going to get sent out to you. So there's the base of it here that would go around. And like I said, it actually has a ton of adaptability. We said down to 15 millimeter bars all the way up to 40 millimeters so that's what we've got there and then i'm going to open this up all again really well packaged i am not going to open it up here uh and, and pull this sticker off here but it says push here to set your phone same kind of thing now to get it to mount on i recommend unscrewing this all the way put the adjuster face up and just press that is all the installation you have to do there so now that that adjuster's loose there, I'm just going to take it, screw it down, and that's a tension set. So now you set it to any position and it'll stay. So that's all you do. Uh, it's literally that simple to put together another 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and you've got it on your bike, boat, whatever you're going to put it on. So I'm going to take that back apart and we'll box this back up and have it ready. Um, so it looks like Timothy Clark asked a question a little earlier. I didn't mean to skip on you there, buddy. Uh, we're going to go over here. Um, how would you compare it? He asked to a Ram mount and I'm a big Ram mount person. Well, let me tell you, when I put this promo code up, you're going to see the price of it. I could not put the promo code in Amazon Live for some reason. There was a error message or something that popped up. But when I put this promo code in, you see um, the value here. RAM is going to charge you $40 for the minimum you know, of these kind of mounts. This thing has a 40% off right now of its $19 retail, it's going to get you down to like 11 bucks. I'm literally going to buy a few of these after the show just for, for kids and for family. I don't know if that coupon is stackable. I really hope it is because I want to buy a few more of these, but let me pull up the promo code and I just want to put it on screen for a little bit. So if you do want the 40% off promo code, remind me to put it back up here because unfortunately it was not allowing me to do that. So give me a second here and I'll show you what that promo code looks like. One second. It's actually pretty easy, but I have to pull it up here and copy it over and do a couple things. Sorry for the wait here. If you're interested in this, let me know where you would use it. Would you use this on a bicycle? Uh, let me know in the chat, by the way, how long has it been since you've been on your bicycle? <laughs> If you're like me and you're feeling a little guilty, maybe this is that product that you need to uh, give yourself a reason to get on that bicycle. You won't be losing your phone here. 40% off bike mount. Okay. Sorry for the uh, text here because that's all I could do for us in short term. But the promo code right there, if I copied and pasted right, is Lamacall 4 bm uh, boy, Mary. Uh, so Lamacall 4 BM. If you put that in the checkout at Amazon, you're going to go from like $19. I think I checked it out. It was down to 11. So it's been uh, <laughs> a pretty good deal. Oh, this is funny. So uh, cajoling says it's been about 20 years since I've been on a bike. Well, you know, there's always a, uh, what did they say <laughs> about bike riding? 
you know, never forget. So there you go. So this is Lamical. Now, again, you can sign up to win this for free in the lower left corner there that you see on your screen. And we're going to do that drawing before the end of the show. I do need to move on. I'm going to grab my phone here. I'll be back here. And before we do the drawing, I'm going to show this product one more time. I'm going to pull up the next product that we've got. And that is, again, towards bicycle and bicycle safety. So uh, 2 million bicycles were stolen last year. That's one every 30 seconds. And literally, <laughs> during this show in the last, oh, we've been on 25 minutes, 50 bicycles have been stolen. And that is how important it is. So when we got this new investment for our kids, the one thing I was uh, serious about, as I said, we're not going to get it without getting you a lock. Now, I've got lots of different locks here. I've got locks with keys. I've got locks with combos like this one. This is one I picked for my girls, so I just threw it in the show. Let me pull it up here real quick for you. So again, if you're looking for any of the show items, they're literally on here. So come down and this is from master lock now the price on it is a little bit higher but it is one day shipping i literally bought this because i knew that i wanted my girls to be able to go riding and so i literally had it the next day so i just you know put it in there in my case i can get it uh i love being in seattle <laughs> i can literally get it uh by tomorrow at 4 a.m 8 a.m so using this is super simple it's 17 dollars. but one of the things that i really like about this one versus the other ones is that it's got a settable combination so it's going to come to you with let me undo it from the backing plate here a factory code of 0000, 000. So it's that easy. Now, what's cool about this one is you can actually unhook it and hook it around your bike. There is a way not to hook this around your bike where, where it'll get loose, but it's got a 5 16ths or 8 millimeter chain. So if you're looking uh, to, for something now, again, a bolt cutter will probably get through this with a few swipes, but it's going to keep the honest people honest. We've got a lot of people around here that are living in the woods that literally just grab a bike when they see it out and they ride it and they use it and just dump it wherever they want. Uh, this will prevent that. So this is going to keep the honest people honest. So again, you put the different codes in. Now, if you watch the lock picking lawyer, like I do, a lot of these key locks are just pickable. I'm going to show you that here in a little bit where we may pick something open tonight, but this case, I picked this one because it's a combination. It's a whole bunch easier for my kids to remember, you know, their birth month and year something like this ish ish something like that um, than it is for them to remember their set of keys they lose everything so that's what i like about this now let me show you how easy it is to set a combination on this so there are a couple different varieties of this there is a non-settable one which is only like five bucks I'm telling you, it's a great deal. So um, you could literally put this. Now, uh, <laughs> Jeremy's saying, I was just literally thinking lock picking lawyer. And you know what? He's a great guy, but I looked today and I was trying to see if he has a decoder one of these because they call it decoding where you can kind of slide them around and see around or do stuff. But, you know, any lock is vulnerable in some way. The way you set this, and I just started it, is literally when that's there, you just turn it to the right and then you set whatever combination. I think one, three three seven that should be a good code and if you know you know you put this back in you garble it all up and again nobody can take your bike unless you know your special code and the cool thing about this is you can set it to a code that the kid knows remembers real easily another thing is if your kid forgets said code you can give the code to them or another person over the phone versus a key which you have to physically take with you now on my, my outboard motors on my boats i have them physically locked with keys but in this case something that you're going to use a lot i really like this master lock and i've used them for a lot i tried a couple tricks like decoding this one by just you know using the tension and presets i wasn't able to do it really easily so you know i figured you're going to see somebody working on that as well so <laughs> cajoling's giving us some really good advice on some channels i gotta check out later that's pretty cool uh timothy also said something really cool here in the chat and that's actually another thing there is a tracker if you guys are interested in this um, i actually do use some trackers on vehicles and uh that can be really really cool i've got some great recommendations there that might be a really cool fun thing for another auto show to do uh, is looking at trackers. They've got some really small ones now. So that's another accessory that I would highly recommend if you're going biking. And lastly, 
as the sun goes down it gets dark we try to tell our kids to be back by then i do have some safety stuff for us again because we picked all these up these are the things that i would recommend now i spent way more than this locally on a helmet that has again a light as well but this one's 20 percent off right now you can see i bought both of these just for the kids just so i could get them set up properly on their bike if it's been a little while you might want to consider it's time for a new helmet especially if the uh, rats have gotten into it this one is incredibly light that's one of the things i'll say about it it doesn't have any reviews here that i can show you yet on it so i don't know about that but i know that it's very very lightweight and that's another thing is if your helmet is heavy can actually do more damage a lot of injuries in motorcycle accidents neck injuries and things like that or the weight of your helmet is moving your head around so the lighter the weight that you can get the better but one of the features that this one has and i gotta see if i can there we go i don't know if it's going to show up let me see if i can see it on the top camera that one's a little bit darker there you go is a flashing light so you have rear light at night they can see you up high up tall uh, where they're looking um, you know, lower lights and lower reflectors are great, but this definitely helps out. Now it has three different patterns. So it's going to have the flat, you know, fast flashing, the slower flashing, just continuously on. Now it's in a really bright studio. So you don't, that does not look very bright, but I can tell you with all the room lights out and at night, that is really bright. It's definitely visible way better than just wearing all black and going out and riding around. So um, this is a helmet I used. It worked out really, really well. I'm going to put that back on Mando up here and I'm going to show you one quick video on that master lock. Just a quick idea that I had taking a look and oh, James Cornell. Thank you for the follow, sir. <laughs> one of uh, people from my past and he's been mentioned in a previous show. So give me one second and I'm going to pull up just a quick thing. If you're going to be uh, using your master lock and I'm pulling this back up here. I want to show this to you what not to do if you just loop it around the seat and then lock it uh, while you're taking it there's a couple things that can happen actually it can go into your chain or into your uh, tire area it can get pulled you can have other things but whenever and i'm teaching my kids to lock all their stuff definitely go through the bicycle frame itself you need to go through the frame seats and seat posts can be quick removed things like that so just wanted to, to point that out if you were looking at the master lock as an option uh, so we have that there we are going fast and quick through the products tonight the next one i have is actually for you gun nuts out there <laughs> i actually did do a product a while ago the wise gun safe and they had a really cool product and overall you know there's a lot of neat features about it it still had a backup keyway which really you know uh, was important to a lot of people i've had good and bad luck i need to, to do some testing on it i actually had some issues today with mine not recognizing my fingerprint and then i forgot my app code and other things but i got in it it's okay but another company saw that review and they said hey we want you to check out our new gun safe and so this is from the ai nero company now forgive me i gotta get under here to pick it all up i have all of this stuff stacked in here and we'll get this guy ready and this is from ai nero and this is their gun safe now i'm just going to show you it on the side camera here so you can take a look at it if you do have handguns in your house if you do have important documents even if you don't have handguns you just want to have important documents saved it is your responsibility to keep them out of the hands of people that shouldn't have them that said there are a couple cool features of this one that I have not yet seen in the wise one or others. So let's talk about simple opening. Finger, open. Now, everybody sees this, they think it's a gun. This is actually not a gun. This is just a replica. And I can show you that. That is not a magazine. <laughs> so this is not loaded. This is actually a BB gun, but it's just an example because it is a scale replica of a regular handgun. Now, a couple things about it. The metal on it is not as thick as some of the other ones out there and it is a little bit lighter so you're kind of giving up some of that that real thickness for convenience that said it's plenty thick for what you need it to do now programming is pretty easy you can hold the reset button down here and that will actually reset the unit then you have to add in a digital code you have to put in a key press code in here 
before you put the fingerprints in. And then when you hit add, you can add additional fingerprints and so on. So let me pull it up here on Amazon, just because I want to show you some of the things there and a couple of the pictures. And then I'll talk about some things that are interesting about it and some things that might give you pause. So it's got a couple really cool features that I need to focus on here. So again, if you're just joining, this is John the Net Guy. We're taking a look at a few cool tech gadgets coming into the summer here. Uh, we're looking at this product right now from AI Nero, and it is their gun safe. So it's a biometric gun safe for handguns. You could fit at least two handguns in here. Um, I don't have another handgun here to show you today. I have in the past, but I just went with this one today. And it also comes with something that was an additional cost with other vendors, which is this pouch. So this is a fireproof document bag. So you can see here, you can actually put in, let me just come back to the side camera. So you can see this is just basically silicone coated fiberglass, I believe. You can put important documents. Maybe you've got some passports and got some other stuff in here. Hey, Jonathan H., thank you so much for joining. Uh, you <laughs> mentioned my case swap video here. Uh, Jonathan H., thank you again. We're doing an Amazon Live today. I'm showing some cool tech products. This is a biometric gun safe. Um, again, uses my finger. Now, I've only programmed this finger in. If I go to the other fingers, it's not working. If I put that finger on, it worked. So opening speed is pretty good. It's actually based on the hinges. Now here's where things start to get a little questionable, which is it's got exposed hinges. And again, I think the purpose of this is actually for, um, you know, again, lightweight portability. It's, you know, compact in size enough that it could fit under your car seat so if you're like me sometimes if i concealed carry i have to go into a place because there's more and more places that don't allow you to have a handgun concealed so if you're concealed carrying you need to keep your gun safe so a lot of people will put them in a glove box well that's super easy to open crowbar or whatever this is one of the things that it comes with which i'm super impressed with and that is this steel braided cable and what that cable is supposed to do is wrap around the leg of your car, a water pipe, anything you want that's not easily removed. So in this case, you loop it around, you know, maybe it's the leg of your car, <laughs> on your, of your you know, seat on your car, and you put this other end through the unit. Now, if somebody decides that they're going to take off with your lockbox maybe you do money drops with your car and maybe you need to lock it in there this is now locked into your car which is kind of cool congratulations on your birthday jonathan by the way he says he turned 18 yesterday congratulations <laughs> welcome to adulthood and paying taxes if you haven't already so um again this is from ai nero pretty easy to operate you can add multiple codes multiple uh, fingerprints in there that's their biometrics now i did a code and it did allow me to put a stupid code in now the other manufacturers have blocked some of that you can't do one two three four i wouldn't do any sort of sequence in there um you know as far as construction a couple other things that could be better like on the edge here i see a little bit of a seam if i came down here some other manufacturers build them up a little bit higher so that it's, you know, not as easy to do a pry tool or something under there, maybe a screwdriver. But all in all, this is going to keep the honest people honest, and it's going to keep people out of it that shouldn't be in it, right? And that's the goal with a handgun. Again, have easy, quick access, whether it's biometric or through a code. I love this capability. Um, if some other manufacturers had this, they would do really, really good. So... Um, very, very cool feature that they've added in here. Let's talk about some other things. As far as wall mounting, that's a real common use case for these. So if you're going to um, you know, put this in a bedroom, I would highly recommend wall mounting it or mounting it in a way that it can't be removed. You know, it, This is only going to slow somebody down if they really want to get to your firearm. So I would recommend wall mounting it. Now on the back side, you might be able to see those two little dots. And those are two little screw holes. Now it comes with two really small screws. I'd go get some really big ones. <laughs> I'd go get some anchors, uh, whatever you need, something that you can drill in. And even if you have to enlarge those holes, you know, there's plenty of room in here. Uh, like I said, to do that and two hangings, it has really good 
foam padding all the way around. So if your, you know, handgun is going to be bouncing around in here, it's going to be well taken care of. There's no sharp edges for it to hit things like that. So that was another exciting thing about it. Now on to the one weakness of this. Um, and this is on all of these, it does have a backup key. Make sure I have those before I try this test here. So you can use a backup key if you need to. You forgot your code, the batteries died, something like that happened. You can literally open it up with the key really, really fast. Comes with two keys, um, but I want to show you. Again, this only keeps the honest people out, right? <laughs> I'm going to come over to the side camera here so you can see this a little bit closer. Maybe I get lucky, maybe I don't. We're going to find out today. Lock picking lawyer, eat your heart out. Uh, this is one thing I noticed about it. And again, this is something it does have a double ended key right there, but it's actually only got tumblers on one side. Now I'm not doing elaborate picking here. Okay. So I got that to move. Now I'm just going to use the back of the key. I was able to pick the lock on that in under 10 seconds. So yeah, again, this is not designed to keep people out permanently. Again, I've got some basic lock picking tools that I was able to use. Um, I don't think, and again, non-destructive testing here. I'm not trying to break the thing. I want to be able to reuse it. I think it has a good place, but I just wanted you to be aware of that, that the lock is the weak link in this whole unit. So I have to put the key back in to unlock it now. So you can use the key as a backup, but again, then the whole safe is only as strong as your key. And in these cases, the keys, is it a 731 key? Somebody's asking, I don't know. <laughs> I do have a bunch of extra other keys here for, you know, computers and safes and other stuff. I don't think that one's going to be the right one, but no, nope, that's got a different keyway on it. So yeah, those are all the same. So that's not going to work, but <laughs> good, good question. Good good test there. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I wanted to point out and full transparency and full honesty. It is pickable, but 99% of all locks are, I think for something that you want to take your handgun with you on the go, I absolutely love the fact that they included this cable and I will be using this one. I think that there's a place for it again in all of my uh, systems that this could actually help out in, especially, you know, travel portability. I go on boats a lot. I take my boat out and I would love to have a place to store my handgun when I'm out on a boat or in an RV. And I don't want to use the other one that I have upstairs that's mounted. So I love the idea of the portability of this with this lock. So let's go back over to the Amazon, take a look at it here. As far as ratings, again, it's got 33 ratings, five out of five on there. So there's a lot of people that really like this thing. Um, and let me close out of this real quick. And it's $79.99. Again, we're looking at uh, hitting a specific price point. This is under $100 biometric gun safe. So if you need that quick access, and I have no reason to believe that this is not a good biometric safe for quick access, it's going to keep the honest people out and the kids out of it, which is what is most important in most cases. So yeah, this will absolutely work for that. And at 79 bucks, that's a pretty affordable price here. So uh, metal lock mechanism, anti-theft protection. There's the biometrics, as you can see. So up to 30 fingerprints. Um, that's pretty good. So if you want to put multiple fingerprints, maybe you got your hands dirty. That's another really cool thing that you can do here is store up to 30 fingerprints in here. So you've got three different ways to access it. Uh, question came in. Does it have an app from Jonathan H? Sorry, Jonathan, it does not have an app right now. So that is one thing you're giving up. Um, other vendors do have them with apps, but they're more expensive and in some cases, much, much more expensive than this. So at $80, I think that there's a lot of value here. And I, I do love the idea of what they did now here. They're showing you've got the uh, different features of it. The five digit keypad, um, batteries, backup key access, things like that. Now mine did not come with batteries. I did have to go find batteries to put in it. So that was another thing you should prepare for. And there's some examples of where you might use it. I want to see, are they showing the lock? They're not showing the uh, cable lock mechanism on that picture, but I do really love that cable lock. That's so the heavy steel cable. I think that's a, a really, really smart ad. That's probably one of the biggest differentiators on this one is it does come with that lock. Now, 
Uh, if you watch Lockpicking Lawyer, the, the key backup issue doesn't bother me, uh, honestly, because he's decoded a lot of those AR and other gun you know, security devices. And most of the ones that have push buttons or even the ones that are flat and go into your car seat that have multiple buttons on the front, they're pickable with a pop can, things like that. So uh, I think this is an upgrade of security already, and I'm looking forward to using it. So that is from AI Nero, their gun safe. I was really happy to see that. Redbeard TP. <laughs> he just started uh, following on Amazon. Hopefully you uh, are cool like me. Uh, this is John the Net Guy. If you're just joining us, we are taking a look at a few products. This one was actually sent over by the AI Nero company, and it is a handgun and document safe. So again, even if you don't do handguns, that's not your thing. It's nice to have a storage option for valuables and with the fireproof document holder which i like so if you've got a will and you want to fold that thing up and throw it in that document holder that's going to last a while in a fire so very cool it does come with some other supporting information so this is from again ai nero this is their instruction set let me pull that up real quick so you can see it's got a full set of instructions on how to set it up the only thing you got to really remember on this is put your code in first and then start adding your fingerprints you've got to do that in that order here and then they've got a help app but it doesn't actually have app control it's not bluetooth in any way so some people may actually prefer that because that's not another way it could be attacked so then it's got some basic q a here and some information about it as well so very cool and that's from the AI Nero company. We are down to the last product already. I know it was a fast show, and then we are going to do the drawing. This next product is really cool. And it actually, pull this down here and get a few things moved. Um, they reached out to me. This was sent to me by the manufacturer. And they said, hey, we've got a power over Ethernet switch that you should be taking a look at. This is from Sedola. POE networks. Now, what's interesting is you could not find power over Ethernet switches from Unify, um, gosh, anybody. You know, there was just a few manufacturers that were making powered switches. And part of it was the gigabit chips. I guess they went up to like 30 bucks a pop or something crazy. So for switching uh, chips for Ethernet, you were not doing really well. These guys have a supply of something because they were able to send me this one. Now, the first one that they said, hey, do you want to take a look at was a fast Ethernet switch. So it was 100 megabits. It wasn't any faster than that. And power over Ethernet, if you're not aware, is the ability to send power and data down the same cable. And the beauty of that is you only have to wire your house or your office or your outbuilding with one cable. And you can run cameras, you can run phones, you can run other access points, you can run other switches, which are pretty cool. So you can have a downstream switch for a bunch of computers running with power from the main one. So there's so many cool things. But I said, I don't know if my guys are going to want a fast Ethernet. They're already talking about like 10 gig Ethernet and higher. So I don't know if they're going to want a fast Ethernet PoE switch. They said, oh, well, that's okay because we make, <laughs> and let me show you this, this guy. And I'm going to pull it up on the side camera here. Count the number of ports on that. It is, other than a little bit of dirt on there, <laughs> it is an eight port with two uplinks. So these are all gigabit ports. Now, a lot of them, times they'll cheat and they'll make these ports not gigabit. They'll make those like fast Ethernet and they'll have you gigabit uplink. There are two non-POE uplinks. So if you were to like daisy chain these, you're not actually losing any ports by chaining these to two different switches. So if this was an intermediate switch between two others, or you had other devices that were non-POE that you just wanted to plug in without burning your POE ports. So this is basically a 10 port switch with eight POE ports. It's got 120 Watts, which is really cool. So that was another neat thing about the power budget. And right away, when I unboxed this, I'll tell you one of the things that I looked at and it, it, it triggered me because I've seen some of the cheaper units come with a wall wart. And if you know what those are, um, they come with a little adapter. Now, I just use the show's cable here. I'm going to keep this one nice and tidy. But um, they use an AC adapter. They go to 48 volts or 24 or something. And then they boost it up in here. This one is all metal construction. It uses an actual 120 volt connection. I'm going to see. It actually can go up to 240. Let me pull that up on the side for you. So this can go up to 240. So you're going to get that ability to have uh, voltage flexibility, depending on how your network and wiring is. And it's fanless. 
there literally is no sound coming out of it. So I've got a Linksys 24 on the other side. It's not PoE and it's a gigabit and it has a fan running all the time and it makes lots of noise. So all of these things uh, from this one are just pure wins in my book. But let's talk about how you would use something like this and then we're going to test it out. Uh, I'll show you guys some cool apps that we can use. So this is from Sedola. This is their eight port gigabit switch is what we're looking at. And I've got a couple things to test it with. Let me grab those. <laughs> I told you about a few of them that you could run and we're going to see how they, they work. But first up is a telephone. So this is a grand stream. This is a real basic grand stream phone. And this is one I helped a friend set up his, his shop and he used these grand stream phones everywhere. I think he's got like 15 of them and they work amazingly well. And I'm just going to plug this thing in. And then I need to plug one more cable. There we go. So I'm going to plug it into the uplink. So I'm going to uplink to my current switch. And then I'm going to go down to the overhead view. So what's cool about this is this phone is already turning on. It's trying to get an IP address. And it only has one cable. There's literally no power cable in this so if you're used to the having the wall plugs to keep things on this is like the old phone days where you could actually have power and everything coming out of that so not only can we run that device we've got a poe budget of 120 watts here we can start throwing other things at it like security cameras <laughs> so if you have the, this is a real link just happens to be one of their you know four megapixel ones if you have a security camera you want to plug in and i'm going to put mine Oh, let's say right there. <laughs> I'll plug that in here. Now this is an unmanaged PoE switch. So that's one of the things to think about is it's not going to do VLAN tagging, link aggregation, all those other cool things that you can do if you have a managed switch. But honestly, most people don't need that. Or if you want to you know, put this in a closet and just run a bunch of cameras off of it and then backhaul that, you can put this on its own subnet, you know, or own VNet. Um, and you can be perfectly good to go there and it, it keeps everything inside. So already plugged two devices in. Let's talk about the third one. And this is actually really cool for occupancy. So this is from TP-Link and this is their in-wall. I've seen actually these in, in the wild. I've seen the Aruba ones too. Um, but this is a really cool feature. So this is for hotels, schools, things like that. It comes with the wall plate for a standard outlet. And what happens is you wire one incoming uh, um, Ethernet cable to it with power over Ethernet in. Like I said, this is kind of that downstream switch situation. So you would plug this through this hole, through the wall, plug this switch in. Now I'm running all three of these devices are being powered by the switch. And what's cool about this one, I'm going to bring it up here on the side. This comes with three extra ports, one of those with PoE output for a phone or something right on it. And it's an access point itself. It's a low powered access point and it is limited to hundred megabits on this unit. The rest of these can go all bounce up to gigabit, which is pretty cool. The best part, which I haven't shared with you yet, is the pricing on this. I told you that like the chips alone for some of these gigabit uh, Ethernet chips were going for like $30 a port. And so again, I'm running three different devices here off of this one switch in the corner. I probably could have done my wiring a little bit better. Here. So I just want to show you that they're actually running on those. So give me one second. I'll pull that up over here. I'm going to pull up my camera first, my real link app. Okay, there we go. And the audio is going to be delayed, but that is my camera coming through power over ethernet. So there's no other cable. So you can run one single ethernet cable from your switch to this. And now you've got a camera and data, and this will go up to a gigabit. So that's one test. We, we passed that test so far, right? So we've got our camera going. Give me one second here. Now our phone, you can see that it's already lit up and on. I don't have a, a VoIP account that we can dial into right now, but um, phone is definitely getting its power from here. Another cool thing when you're setting up your networks like this, especially for phone systems, is running all of your power through this and onto a UPS means that all of your phones work in a power outage. So if your internet's gonna work in a power outage, 
you can have it set up to actually have your phones at least work in a power outage and your security cameras and you don't have to worry about having a ups at each desk and things like that so it's kind of a cool idea um, and then again this ap is what we've got connected over here i did not configure the ap so we've got three different devices running on this i'm going to add one more so i'm taking the show laptop here <laughs> and i'm going to unplug the show laptop so that's this cable and i'm going to bring this guy over and i'm just going to plug him into the other uplink port uh, but all of the ports perform the same i did this test last night we're going to go back out and hopefully this will work out really well <laughs> we're going to find out here so I've got iPerf running on my system here. So this is actually running on a Linux machine that's about three different routers away in my house, or different switches. Sorry, I should be accurate or everybody's going to chew me up. Um, and then this is on this laptop. So right now I'm connected via the switch, which has got a phone, an AP, a camera connected to it. And I'm going to run this and we're going to see how fast it's going. So this is getting 946. Hopefully you guys can see that 947, 930, 934, 900, 938. And now that's uh, one direction. If you do, it, I think with the minus R, you can reverse the flow. So I can tell the server basically to send to me, oh, do I have to do capital R? Let's see. Capital R for reverse. There you go. So if I come back here and I do capital R, this is really good if you're ever testing out networking gear and you want to see how much it can do. So this is a really cool thing here. Um, so now I'm running it reverse mode. So now the server is sending it as fast as it can to me. Sorry, it's behind the uh, giveaway details there. So it's sending a 110 megabyte file, but you can see there, you know, it's actually done pretty well. So uh, again, you know, basic switch, PoE, gigabit. Let's go talk about the fun part, which is actually the price. I was very impressed with the pricing on this. So let's go back over here and I'll bring it up here. And you can see the price already is $47.99. But what's cool about this is he's they've got just tons of different options. So this is probably one of their nicer ones. And I, again, thank you for sending me this out and letting me demo it for you guys. Um, but it works incredibly well. Now I'm still running my laptop over this. So anything you're seeing me pull up is actually coming from that. Now they've got some different options here too. So if you need four ports of PoE, you need one uplink. And it looks like, does that one have VLANing? It looks like it does have VLANing. It's got some other capabilities. I haven't used this one yet, but that's another cool one. And then it's got an SFP port on it as well. So if you really want to get to the SFPs and you know do other types of gear, you can do that. Um, there's another one here, you know, 8x PoE 2 uh, gigabit, and then we'll go over here. There's another one, different combinations. And if you want one with just dual uplinks, and you want to have it with, there you go. And that actually looks like it's a a, a hardware switch VLAN. That's kind of interesting. I have not seen that. So again, unmanaged network here, but it may be able to do some more advanced stuff there as well, even with that. So pretty cool and again all your power runs in through the wall looks like it's got a couple different uh speeds on it <laughs> uh cajoling's asking a good question which is true you know these days we do have to wonder about some of that let me pull that question up here <laughs> phoning home to manufacturers maybe a wireshark test absolutely that would totally be warranted if you had a new device something like that um you might want to do this and to be honest you know d-link and some of these other router major router manufacturers have all had firmware hacks and other things where they've gotten bypassed um, but i did want to just again thank these guys for sending this out i was really excited about being able to test this and so far so good it's uh done really really well i'm gonna unplug some of these and i'm gonna plug the show laptop back in but that's the device again real quick while i'm replugging things in from sedola poe networks so these guys specialize in poe and they've done it for 47 bucks they've got a working poe access point or sorry not access point poe switch with eight ports with two uplinks and a ton of power budget i couldn't be happier so i've got a couple different poe switches but i don't i haven't solidified on one yet i could definitely see this working for a bunch of cameras like my real link setup if i need to extend that so and thank you rare apple for stopping by uh, really do appreciate that. We are going to be going on to the drawing now. Now, if you haven't signed up for the drawing, this is from the company Lamacall, 
who sent us out this bike mount for your cell phone. So I'm going to put some of these things away. We're going to get the bike mount out. And we'll get started with that. And then we're going to get the drawing. So you have just a few more seconds here to go to that website linked down below. And that will get you entered into the drawing. Get some of these things out of our way. <laughs> and we'll get that drawing going. And you are literally going to win... The one we just opened up a few seconds ago, this is that bike mount. It's got a very high rating on Amazon right now. Uh, I will also bring up real quick the discount code because, again, I could not put this into the app for some reason. There was a percentage off issue or something. And so if I pull that up real quick, again, this is from Lamacall. So if you use that code above, lamacall 4 bm it will literally give you that 40% off of retail on it. So wanted to thank those guys again for doing that. I'm going to run over to the website here and tabulate the results and we'll get the spinner going and you guys will be winning a product. And if you guys have questions on Amazon, I'm going to switch over back to the Lama call here. Uh, let me know those as well. So I'm watching you guys on Amazon here. Thank you guys. I'm going to pull up the bike mount here as we go to this. And if you're just joining now and you hadn't seen what we're doing, this is John the Net Guy. I'm doing Tech on Tuesday. It's our weekly live show, 5.30 on Tuesdays. And right now we're taking a look at this. It works for Android, iPhone. It's a large size cell phone holder for your bike, motorcycle, boat, anything that's got a round. Somebody actually even said a, a C-stand, which, you know, is for cameras, tripods, things like that. So maybe you've got some music lyrics that you want to have up and you've got a C-stand or something there. Tripod, you can put that on there. It does move and rotate and articulate. And so it has all that kind of capability, which is really cool. I'm going to go see how many of you guys signed up. And I'm going to export that submission list. So we're going to go into submissions. And hopefully you guys have signed up. I'm going to pull the giveaway details away now because I can't have those up, unfortunately. And I'm taking a look, and we got quite a few submissions here. So this is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and run this. Um, we've got that, and I'm going to need to do an export of the data. we got as many submissions as I've seen yet for, for one of these. So I appreciate you guys that entered. i got to do one quick scan real quick to make sure that... Uh, Everybody was PC on their names, which. <laughs> okay, don't actually pick me. This was just a test. I'm not going to pick you. I'll take you out of there. Um, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Somebody was helping us out here on the form. I'm going to delete that row. Okay. And then I see people. So I'm going to copy all of these and we're going to run over. And I'm going to take a look at the chat real quick just to see if we've had any last minute people um, that needed to be entered. Looking good. Okay, Jay Singh and PC Phil. PC Phil, I got you in the list here. You were like number two on the sign-up list. Thank you for that. And I'm going to do a new window and spinner wheel. Here we go. Just putting the data in here to get this drawing on the road. Again, this is for the Lama call. <laughs> JC Mama 3 is funny. She's got uh, wins today. We're going to find out about that. I'm going to go to the settings here. Make sure you guys can hear it. And we're going to spin for 12 seconds today. We're going full screen. And then I'm going to bring it up for you guys. And hopefully the sound will work this time. And we're going to get a drawing going in three, two, one. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. Oh, oh, Harley, almost there. Oh. Busy, busy on the Amazon. Thank you so much for signing up there. Uh, and uh, you did a follow today too. That was awesome. You are going to get sent out this, well, actually the one in the box. Sorry, I'm keeping this one for the kids. But uh, you're going to get sent out this brand new Lamacall phone holder for your handlebar mounts. Uh, whether you got a motorcycle, whether you've got ATVs, whether you got just regular bikes, tricycles, uh, I showed you guys how to use it on a stroller today as well. This thing's super flexible, has a built-in safety lock, which will keep it from expanding. So if you're on the road, now I can't open it. 
now I can, uh, but it'll keep it from dropping your phone out at high speed while you're going down the freeway or something. So that's a really cool capability. Just a reminder, I am here every single Tuesday at 5.30 so far. Um, we've got some vacations and other stuff coming up, but I'm planning around those. We'll make it work. And if you do want to check out my Amazon shop, I'm going to bring that up down on the bottom here for you guys. My Amazon URL is just simply amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash the net guy and if you can see here it'll actually show you exactly the different products i have here another cool thing is if you hit videos you can actually see videos of past products that i've reviewed on the channel so if you missed something or you wanted to go back and see my review on some cases on a blink mini camera on some cool stuff uh, these HyperX gaming headphones were on sale the other day. It was a great deal. Uh, I even tweeted out about that for everybody. I was like, oh, go get them. They're on a great deal right now. But if you do want to check that out, the URL is scrolling down below. It's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash the net guy and busy thank you so much uh glad that you were able to to win this one and i will be in touch about where to ship this to so thanks everybody that joined today this has been john the net guy thank you guys for watching and i will catch you in a future video mm -hmm.